I'm Ross Kramer, the director of the Incarcerated Gender Violence Survivors Initiative at Sanctuary for Families. I'd like to congratulate the team from Cozen O'Connor on going above and beyond for Michelle S. Michelle survived severe domestic violence beginning when she was a child and continuing through her adult relationships. This included numerous assaults which could have resulted in her death, including assault with weapons and strangulation. During one violent assault, Michelle fought back and caused the death of her abuser. As a result, she was sentenced to serve 25 years of imprisonment. The Cozen team represented Michelle in connection with her Domestic Violence Survivors Justice Act, or DVSJA, petition. The team spent three full years working with Michelle and advocating before the Monroe County District Attorney's Office in an effort to have Michelle's sentence reduced under the DVSJA. This included preparing a written DVSJA petition, tracking down documents to support Michelle's arguments, and a presentation to the district attorney herself that included a video that the team created of Michelle speaking about her life and experiences. Finally, in March, 2023, the district attorney informed the Cozen team that she would support Michelle's application to be resentenced under the DVSJA. The team appeared in court with Michelle in Rochester, New York that same month. Michelle was resentenced to time served and released the next day. Michelle was incarcerated for 11 difficult years, but in the end, because of the Cozen team's efforts, more than half her sentence was wiped out. The team was able to get Michelle more than a decade of her life back, a decade that she can now spend reconnecting with her friends, family, and community. So thank you and congratulations to Matthew, Emily, and Lisa. Ms. S's DVSJA application was granted on a Thursday afternoon in Monroe County, and she was incarcerated at Bedford Hills in Westchester County. Due to these logistics, our team and Sanctuary assumed that Ms. S would not be released from custody until the next Monday. But an amazing thing happened, and everyone mobilized to get Ms. S released sooner. Judge Argento got in her soapbox. Her clerks immediately started making calls. The Monroe County DA's office supported Ms. S's immediate release. The Willow Domestic Violence Organization, which is truly amazing, immediately got on the phone with staff from the governor's office and their local congressional representative. And DOC, to its credit, made it work. Ms. S was released from Albion by lunch the next day. She got McDonald's and went shopping instead of spending another weekend in prison. I learned almost everything meaningful I know about gender-based violence through my work with Ms. S. It's not that I didn't know about the epidemic that is gender-based violence, the studies, or the stats. I've been taught that. But nothing in an article could make me appreciate the trauma of gender-based violence like listening to Ms. S relive it as we work together to prepare her DVSJ application. Through this work, I developed a true appreciation for how she was trapped in an abusive relationship and how that manifested itself in her life and ultimately into the crime that cost her 11 years in prison and cost her abuser his life. But it shouldn't take a multi-year DVSJR representation to get the word out. So I will continue to do my part to educate further the people in my life about gender-based violence. It would be easy to say that the best part of my experience representing Miss S was giving her a big hug after Judge Argento granted her DVSJA application from the bench in order that she be released with time served after 11 years of incarceration. But focusing on just the happy ending would sure change the experience representing Miss S. The best part about representing Miss S was getting to know her, learning about the strength and optimism she kept even after suffering so much trauma as a domestic violence survivor, and being able to help her channel that strength and optimism into our legal work. And of course, that work did end with that big hug. I would also like to congratulate the team from Latham and Watkins on going above and beyond for Jacqueline S. Jacqueline survived years of severe, life-threatening violence at the hands of an intimate partner. Despite having him arrested several times and having two orders of protection against him, he entered her home and attacked her on the night of August 26, 2012. During the assault, Jacqueline fought back, resulting in his death. Despite the clear history of domestic violence and the threat to Jacqueline's life that night, she was sentenced to 15 years of incarceration. The Latham team took on Jacqueline's case 
And after considering several legal options, they petitioned New York State Governor Kathy Hochul for clemency on Jacqueline's behalf. They spent countless hours working with Jacqueline, preparing a written clemency submission, and advocating extensively before the governor's administration. Finally, in December of 2022, Jacqueline was granted clemency by Governor Hochul, and she was immediately released from prison. The Latham team gave Jacqueline years of her life back to spend with her family, friends, and community. Thank you and congratulations on this amazing result to Melange, Wendy, Jamie, Brittany, and Jacqueline. I think first and foremost, this case taught myself and the entire team the importance of never giving up. We were faced with some really tough legal challenges during the course of this case, but we quickly had to learn how to advocate in different ways based on the audience we were facing. We also all learned that how we as lawyers use our knowledge and skills may differ depending on whether you represent an individual or an organization, but the foundation of always doing what you can to advocate for your client never changes. Watching our client walk out of prison the day of her release was one of the best moments of not only my career, but of my life. And I know it was truly impactful for the rest of the team too. What struck me was just the sheer disbelief and joy she had when she realized she could walk out without any shackles on and hug her family members who were waiting there for her. Since her release, it has been a joy to watch her reintegrate into society and rediscover what she loves about her life, particularly seeing her interact with her family. She is truly thriving in this new chapter and we couldn't be happier for her. The best part of this experience was seeing the transformation in our client from when she was first incarcerated to the day she was released and then seeing all the progress that she has made since then. Our client was a completely different person when she was arrested over 11 years ago and was in a very difficult stage in her life. To see how far she came during her time in prison was one thing, but to see how far she has come in the eight months or so since her release has been truly inspirational. She is a completely different person and has done nothing but continue to improve herself and take advantage of the second chance she has received in life.